In this edition of Driver Skills TV, we're going to be looking at front wheel drive skid control and how to cope if you make a mistake and get into a skid. To achieve that, we're going to be using a normal family saloon fitted with special low grip tyres on our skid control area at Elbington Airfield, New York. Okay, so we're in the car now. We're in a front wheel drive standard family saloon on our skid control area. What I'm gonna do is drive around onto the area that's slippery because I want to really show what happens to a car when you start to drive it a little bit fast and it's a little bit too slippery. So I'm gonna go up into third gear. We'll be doing about 40 miles an hour. So we're coming into a corner now. I'm traveling a bit too fast for the conditions. I'm turning the steering wheel, but the car is losing control and we've gone off and we've left the road. So that was obviously on our skid control area, so it was, it was pretty safe, but on the road, that could have been a potentially lethal situation. Another type of skid is a rear end skid, is oversteer. It looks quite spectacular. You might have seen rally cars going into corners like that, going in sideways, but I'll give you a, a little example of that. I'm gonna go into the corner, I wanna make the rear of the car skid, and what's actually happened there is that we've completely spun around. So that's two very different skids that need very different amounts of control and different inputs to actually make the car stay on the road. And that's what we're going to look at next. First of all, it's important to understand that your tyres really decide whether you'll get around the corner or not. Your tyres like to have more weight pressed on them. The more weight you have pressed on a tyre, the more grip that tyre has. It's just like a friction exercise, like my two hands pressing together. Really getting weight down on the tyre can make a difference. So when the car's in a slide, first of all we need to understand which end of the car's sliding, and then add weight to the rear by accelerating, or add weight to the front by slowing down. Okay, let's have a look at controlling a front end skid now, or an understeer skid. Let's see how we can react to the car correctly and stay in control and not leave the road. So I'm going to drive onto the skid control area at about 40 miles an hour and get the front of the car to slide to get the car to understeer and then I'm going to explain how I'm controlling it. So I'm coming onto the skid control area now. I've turned into the corner, the front's starting to slide but I'm easing off the throttle, I'm loading up the front end and the front of the car has now recovered and you can see didn't take too much reaction from me, just easing off the throttle, keeping the steering pointing in the direction I wanted to go, the car recovered and we went around the corner okay. This time, as we enter the skid control area, I'm going to be doing around the same speed, around 40 miles an hour, but the car is going to slide at the rear. So let's have a little look at that. So we're entering the corner now, I've turned in, the rear of the car started to slide, I'm compensating with the steering and easing on a little bit of throttle and now the car stayed in control and stayed on the road. As you can see, just by coordinating your hands and your feet and keeping the car balanced and the steering pointing in the correct direction, you can control either a front or a rear end skid. For details of how to book our skid control course, go to our website and also look out for more Driver Skills TV.